Hey, it's Jeff Sauer here, representing Analytics Course, and I want to answer a user question about page value in Google Analytics. And while we're at it, we're going to just do an overall tutorial about page value, what it means, and why you might find it to be valuable for your own analysis. And if you can't wait to get into the video, let me give you a preview. Page value is awesome, it's better than bounce rate, and you should never pay attention to bounce rate again after you watch this video. So watch along to understand why I love page value so much in Google Analytics. Google Analytics page value. I love content, creating it, sharing it, consuming it. Everything about content is awesome. And we put a lot of effort into creating content and you might do it as well. And it's nice to know how our content performs, but when you look at your top content reports, they don't tell you how well it converted. There's the pages that were viewed, but there's no conversion rate. So this is an example from the Google Merchandise Store. As you can see here, there's all kinds of metrics. There's bounce rate, there's entrances, there's exit rate, there's page value, but there's no conversion rate for your content. And that's weird, right? All this emphasis on content and Google Analytics can't tell you your conversion rate. Why is that? It has to do with the scope of the metrics you're collecting and you're looking at within that report. Now a page view is a hit level metric. Every time a page is viewed, it sends a hit to Google Analytics. And if you understand the scope of how things work, think about it this way. There's users, that's every single unique device that is viewed in Google Analytics. There's sessions, that's all the activity you do within a 30 minute window. And then there's page views, which is each time a page loads. And so a user can have many sessions and a session can have many page views. And so when we talk about when somebody viewed a homepage or some other page on the website, that's all page view metrics and you can't get a conversion rate because it's one to many. So you would not be able to divide the conversion between the different pages because a page doesn't actually convert. It's really a session that converts. So conversions are a session level metric. Think about it this way, is that during a 30 minute window, you might convert one time or multiple times, but it's the session that converts. It's that time period that you're on the website that converts versus the page view itself. And so that's why you don't see a conversion rate for each page that's viewed. On the other hand, a landing page can have a conversion rate. And the reason why is because a landing page is something that happens once per session. Where you land, the first page you visit, only happens once per session. And so if you land on this page, we can show your conversion rate because it's a session level metric. Now, hopefully that's not too confusing. It's actually confusing to me, so it's a little bit therapeutic and a little bit clarifying for me to explain it in this video. But hopefully you understand that's why you can only see conversion rate on landing page reports and not on all pages. So here's what a landing page report looks like. And as you can see, we're on the landing page section and we can see our e-commerce conversion rate for each page. And in this case, it's mostly coming in through the home page, but you can see the conversion rate of other pages people come in on as well. So to summarize, each session has a landing page, which is the first page visited, and they work together as metrics. But general page views, all we have is this thing called the page value metric. And that answers the question, how much is a page worth? So if you look at page view, we isolate that column, we wonder what the heck is this thing? What does it mean? What is this dollar amount? And how is every page worth $12? Well, let's talk about how this is defined. So the page value definition, and this is straight from Google's mouth, the average page value of this page or a set of pages. The page value is transaction revenue plus total goal value divided by the unique page views for the page or set of pages. Now, I don't know about you, but that sounds somewhat promising, but it's also a little bit confusing. A lot of words in there, and I don't always like words when I'm talking about an equation. Here's another explanation from Google, basically showing you a session where that session ends with a goal and a receipt happening. The goal is worth $10, the e-commerce transaction is worth $100, and you have one unique page view from that session for that particular page. So that one page, page B, would have a goal value of $110 because it was viewed one time and that session ended in a transaction. And so that's a $110 value. Now, if you have 10 unique page views and only one of them touches on this one, you divide it by 10. And that's really how this works. So the overall value gets divided by the number of page views that it took to get to that value. So here's a more simple equation. Revenue plus goal value means both the transaction from e-commerce as well as the value from your goal. And you divide that by the number of times that a page was viewed. And so the equation essentially is revenue plus goals divided by page views. And you can say by one page or by a group of pages, but we'll just call it page views. And it's pretty straightforward, right? 
it just works. It's not the best thing in the world. It's not as good as a conversion rate. It's not as good as other metrics out there, but it's a heck of a lot better than bounce rate or some of these other metrics that Google throws out there. So here's some observations about page value in Google Analytics. Number one, page value is always higher for cart pages. So if we go back to the Google store, you can see that the basket and the sign in page have a much higher page value than anything else on the account. And that's how it works, because obviously if somebody's in their shopping basket or if they're checking out, then it's going to have a really high page value because they're about to buy. And if people hit those pages, the percentage chance that they're going to check out is much higher and hence a higher page value. Number two, if your page value is $0 across the board, then you need to have goals set up. So if you look at it and you see a page value of zero, you need some goals, dude. You need some goals. You need to get out there. You need to figure this thing out. And this is my keyword hero view of Google Analytics. I'll talk about keyword hero in another video, but basically it shows that they didn't set up goals for me. And that's annoying because I can't establish page value for these important landing pages. Number three, if individual pages have low page value, upgrade them. So I made a video about content upgrades, showing you how to look at your analytics and to understand that if you have a really low value showing up under your page value, that you should put a content upgrade on your site and allow somebody to download something or give them an incentive to give you their email address. And you can capture them as a newsletter subscriber or as somebody who you might put into one of your funnels for selling something. And we talk about that in this video, so you should check that out as well. And to summarize what we're talking about here, page value is an easy self-test. If you have a page value in your account and it's a really high number, that means something's working or you're looking at your cart page and you're drawing a false positive because it should be high because it's your shopping cart. And if you don't see a high page value, then you're not really taking advantage of the content. Either you don't have your goals set up or you need to fix things. And in the end, it helps you understand the value of your content. Or it reminds you that you need to put goals in place. And it's much better than bounce rate. Bounce rate sucks. Bounce rate is so dumb. I can't stand it. It is the worst metric ever. And if you want to agree with me and if you want to nod your head about why bounce rate is stupid, check out this awesome post by my friends at Think SEM, where we talk about how bounce rate is irrelevant, useless, and you might even see my face commenting on that because I'm one of the people who contributed. So are you surprised about page value? Did you know it existed? Do you understand how to read it? Does it make more sense to you now? I would love it if you leave a comment on this post and let us know your thoughts on page value. And if you need us to clear anything up, let us know and we'll answer it in the comments. Mm -hmm.